Welcome to the Photoshop video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can create some really extreme sort of uh, halftone dot twirl designs. You can see one here, sort of an unusual. Obviously you can create your own designs very simply. And I'm just going to go through various steps. I'm just going to go new at this point. Document's about 1400 by 1400. So filter and then go to the filter gallery. And there's a whole range of different options here, but I'm going to go for the halftone pattern. That's a very, very nice one, which you can modify the size. You can make it obviously bigger. I'm just going to go for about four. And contrast, you can make it very, very intense or sort of more blurry. Still pretty intense anyway. You can see the halftone pattern there. Dot, circle. is obviously circle, not so great. I want the dot one, but there are other options. So there's the dot. Click OK. Now, what I'm going to do next is a filter because I want to twirl the design. Uh, unfortunately, with Photoshop, you can only read twirl from the center. I mean, you can do a selection. So if you want, you can actually just say select that area. And it's very hard to see the march. It is definitely there, definitely there. I can't see them either. And I can look it on here. Now, filter. And of course, you could use the whole entire document as well. And then you apply the twirl. Distort and twirl, and you can see what you can do. You just apply that twirl just there. And you can see the design there. But what I want is actually edit and copy, and then deselect that, paste, and you can see paste it around. It's very hard to actually see actually without any so you can see the effect as it moves around. And you can overlap them, you don't have to have them on top. Put them there, see there. Again, you can resize them as well, just so fill the entire design. You could, of course, use it much bigger than that, or even smaller if you wish. So just going to overlap so you can see the design. Now you've created this very intense sort of swirly design here. Now what you can do then is flatten, flatten the image, and then go to again distort and twirl. And I'm going to go the other direction. I don't want to sort of twirl the, in the same direction, so I'm just going to twirl in that direction. And then you can see you've got the design, all the twirls, and they've been twirled in together. But I'm going to go back now. So I've created that, but I, I'll show you what things. So if I go back there, and I can actually virtually do the whole thing. So I do the select the whole of the area, and then apply the twirl. There's a twirl there. And then and you get different effects just by using different areas. So you can just create a whole different design of this sort of twirl and distortion there. And again, like that, deselect and got them already all in the background. So then go to distort and twirl and go in the different direction. Don't want it in the same direction. Click OK. And again, we can see you've got another sort of very very unusual op art sort of weird distorted twirl and of course deselect that what you can do you can actually select that area and again edit and copy and paste and then create more unusual areas of distortion which can then all be flattened and then again twirl at that point, so distort and twirl. So once you've got that, click OK. You can create very unusual landscapes, unusual weird designs, very quick and easy. And of course, once you've actually done that, you can then go and use other effects. So maybe stylize, oil paint to add, maybe not so with that high settings, but that setting there. So to create a very unusual design, if you found this tutorial of interest please subscribe to the graphic extras channel always adding many new videos and also please check out the www.graphicsextras.com website lots and lots of tutorials on this site tutorials for photoshop illustrator affinity photo and many other ones like paint storm studio great product clip studio paint and many more thank you much